Hello, welcome to a new host of our video. My name's Alex, and today we're looking at fixing a G3 Bullet IR filter. So I've had this outside recording stuff for at least 2016, uh, and unfortunately the IR filter has stopped working. Uh, so when it kicks over to night time, the IR uh, lights come on, uh, but the little filter inside isn't moving. So it's quite an easy fix. Uh, There's just a little filter that needs remagnetizing, so it uses magnets to move. We're going to look at how to fix that now. So this is a G3 Bullet in question. Looks a bit beaten up. Uh, it's been outside for quite a while. So you need a couple of things. You need a flip screwdriver. You need a magnet as well. So I've got a quite a strong magnet here. I also need like a washer um, attachment as well. So I've got an iFixit kit. There's all the things you need in that kit there. Uh, so first thing to do is remove the front uh, lens cover. So that just screws off. Makes a bit of a weird noise, but it, it does screw off quite easily. And then the second bit behind just comes out. The, the rubber seal as well. Make it waterproof. So just paste that aside, make sure not to scratch the lens cover. And then the next thing inside, there's two sort of PCB boards sort of stacked on top of each other. First section with the IR lights is held on with these two Phillips screws. So I'll put on screen what type of screw you need, just to make like, what type of screw head you need. So if remove those two screws. Next thing is to pry away the top PCB. So there's two contact sort of pinouts that are joining the two together to power the IR lights. So you just need to go in each gap where the bolts are, just pry away the PCB from the bottom part of the camera. And then the lens is in the middle, and then we've got three uh, very small bolts. So I'm using, again, an iFixit attachment to get these out. I'll put on screen what type of attachment I used. So there's three little bolts that are holding in the bottom part of the PCB to the outer frame of the camera. And then what we want to do is remove the hole inside of the camera away from the camera body. So you can either pull the lens or what I found useful was to push the ethernet jack out. So if you push that away, there's a rubber seal that will sort of come loose as well. And it allows you to get the whole camera module out then. And there we go, there is an inside little rubber piece which you will need to get back on. So next thing to do is remagnetize the IR filter. So uh, just below the camera module with the QR code, that's where the IR filter lives. So if you run the magnet over it a few times, uh, you will eventually it will make a little bit of a noise to start with, and then that noise will get louder and louder. So this section of the video I've boosted to 12 dBi gain, just so you can actually hear it because it was quite quiet. Um, but after about a minute or two of just running the magnet over it eventually started moving freely so that's all you need to do once that's done you can start reassembling the camera i had a bit of a pain getting this back together so um, the top pcb with the infrared lights there's two little pins a section of pins and if you that's really really hard to line up with the bottom pcb once you've got the camera in so i found so it's me just testing the, making sure it's actually booting up. So I found putting the washer inside an iFixit tool kit, uh, sort of screwdriver, and then turning the camera upside down so you don't drop the nut inside the camera. Uh, that took me quite a while to troubleshoot and get, get working. So, yeah, so in this bit, I actually lost the washer inside. <laughs> there we go. So 
Well, there's three nuts to do up again. Um, you just turn the camera upside down and put the screwdriver underneath it and then turn it over again. As this camera has been outside for quite a while, I decided to clean the camera lens as well. So just use some screen cleaner and wipe that clean. So. And the rubber gasket needs to go back on. There is a little tiny cutout. So if you're looking at the camera face on, about one o'clock, there's a little groove cutout. And there's a section on the rubber grommet, grommet and the plastic camera lens where they do fit in together. So you've got to make sure that those are lined up and then it'll, everything will sort of seat nicely. Yeah, and then just push the camera lens in, making sure that the light sensor and the microphone are accessible. And you can screw back in the black cover. If your camera has the sunshade, if you haven't, well, you have to remove it to do the installation of this. But you can put the sunshade back in as well. And then just powered the camera up to test it works. The R lights built up. So I just adopted it to unify again and made sure that the cutout filter was working. And indeed, once you make it dark and then light again, so I did put it inside a drawer to sort of simulate darkness, and it does kick on, so it seems to be working pretty much just the way it's supposed to be. Okay, that's a look at how to fix the G3 bullet IR light sensor. It's likely the same process for the G G4 bullet. Um, but if that becomes a problem, we'll do a video on that as well. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at Hostify.com. You can contact the team at support at Hostify.com, and you can find us on Twitter at Hostify underscore net. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time.